Hi, welcome back to OG Crypto and NFTs. My name is Emmy. I'm a producer of this channel. We're bringing you the latest and latest in crypto, NFT, digital asset updates, Monday through Saturday. If you like our content, go ahead and hit the like button. If you could, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Subscribe, yes. And uh, we are happy to bring you the news. Like I said, short five, 10 minutes. We have a few interesting things to cover. It's gonna be a short one today. I do not have Troy. Tomorrow he will be back and we'll be covering a lot more of the day. So let's just jump into some of these hot topics. So right here, the uh, Nifty newsletter tells us that the trading volume on ENS domains exceeded that of the Board Ape Yacht Club. This is interesting. Uh, we haven't seen this before. So it shows right here on uh, OpenSea chart, Ethereum domain name outperformed Board Ape. So if you're not aware of what the ENS is, the Ethereum is uh, a way for you to purchase a domain name that is not a .com, it's a dot e. uh, Zero through 1,000 are already sold and they're going for insane amounts of money. It's absolutely bananas, to be honest with you. What I mainly wanted to highlight though with this is that there's a lot of money to be made in Web3 and I think it's um, gonna be unfolding in a very interesting way and I really wanna keep an eye on this to see how people are able to uh, create a lot of a lot of funds in a bear market. I think this is fascinating and uh, I hope to see the story develop. And if you are one of the people who uh, sold a uh, number, uh, uh, excuse me, a, a, an ENS domain, that's one of the numbers, comment below, we'd love to talk to you. Uh, this is so cool. And um, like I said, I'm just really curious to see how people are gonna continue in this space through Next article, uh, Sony Music files trademark application for NFT authenticated music. So this application would cover video recordings, text, artwork, and audio featuring live music, all authenticated by NFT. Um, obviously this is another giant, giant company to jump into NFT space. Adoption is insane and taking off faster than the Hemet wildfires. Shout out to everybody in the Hemet wildfires. Um, so it looks like they filed this uh, late last month and we're just hearing about it now here in the second of September. So I'm curious what they're gonna be doing with this and uh, what their marketing team has in store. So we will definitely keep an eye on this and check back with you guys to uh, update you guys the story. Our next article here uh, from Insider is actually about the uh, NBA team, the Chicago Bulls. They're gonna be releasing NFT artwork, reimagining its iconic logo, the bull head. Everybody knows it. Uh, it's gonna be with a few different global creators and designers like Bobby Hundreds, Blake Jameson, and Gang Yang of Ghost. Other people also here. Uh, it gives some examples of how they are reimagining this logo. This is really cool, super seamless. Uh, this is a little bit different vibes, but very cool, still featuring the bull head. Uh, it looks like they have released an NFT collection um, early, uh, or excuse me, in July of last year, but that was consisting of the team's six world championship rings. So this is definitely a, a different concept and I'm curious what they will be releasing uh, from it and the artwork and stuff like that. So we will check back as this story unfolds as well. I hope you guys enjoyed my updates today. Uh, Troy will be back tomorrow and we'll be discussing Gary Ginsler's sanity. There was a lot of uh, about him in the uh, media today. He was the uh, letter last night. So we'll be covering that tomorrow. Uh, we also have a Saturday opinion for you guys. That's really cool. So check back with us. Have a great day and we will see you later.